Chapter 14 Because Jehovah loveth Jacob, and hath fixed again on Israel, and given them rest on their own land, and joined hath been the sojourner to them, and they have been admitted to the house of Jacob, and peoples have taken them, and have brought them in unto their place, and the house of Israel have inherited them on the land of Jehovah, for men servants and for maid servants, and they have been captors of their captors, and have ruled over their exactors. And it hath come to pass, in the day of Jehovah's giving rest to thee, from thy grief and from thy trouble, and from the sharp bondage that hath been served upon thee, that thou hast taken up this simile concerning the king of Babylon, and said, How hath the exactor ceased? Ceased hath the golden one, broken hath Jehovah the staff of the wicked, the scepter of rulers. He who is smiting peoples in wrath, a smiting without intermission, he who is ruling in anger nations, pursuing without restraint, at rest, quiet hath been all the earth. They have broken forth into singing. Even firs have rejoiced over thee, cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou hast lain down, the hewer cometh not up against us. Sheol beneath hath been troubled at thee, to meet thy coming in. It is waking up for thee, Rephaim, all chief ones of earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all kings of nations. All of them answer and say unto thee, Even thou hast become weak like us, unto us thou hast become like. Brought down to Sheol hath been thine excellency, the noise of thy psaltery. Under thee spread out hath been the worm, yea, covering thee is the worm. How hast thou fallen from the heavens, O shining one, son of the dawn? Thou hast been cut down to earth, O weakener of nations. And thou saidst in thy heart, The heavens I go up, above stars of God I raise my throne, and I sit in the mount of meeting, in the sides of the north. I go up above the heights of a thick cloud, I am like to the Most High. Only unto Sheol thou art brought down, unto the sides of the pit. Thy beholders look to thee, to thee they attend. Is this the man causing the earth to tremble, shaking kingdoms? He hath made the world as a wilderness, and his cities he hath broken down. Of his bound ones he opened not the house. All kings of nations, all of them, have lain down in honor, each in his house. And thou hast been cast out of thy grave as an abominable branch, raiment of the slain, thrust through ones of the sword, going down unto the sons of the pit, as a carcass trodden down. Thou art not united with them in burial, for thy land thou hast destroyed, thy people thou hast slain. Not named to the age is the seed of evildoers. Prepare ye for his sons slaughter, because of the iniquity of their fathers they rise not, nor have possessed the land, nor filled the face of the world with cities. And I have risen up against them, the affirmation of Jehovah of hosts, and have cut off in reference to Babylon, name and remnant, and continuator and successor, the affirmation of Jehovah, and have made it for a possession of a bittern, and ponds of waters, and daubed it with the mire of destruction, the affirmation of Jehovah of hosts. Sworn hath Jehovah of hosts, saying, As I thought, so hath it not been? And as I counseled, it standeth to break Ashur in my land, and on my mountains I tread him down, and turned from off them hath his yoke, yea, his burden from off their shoulder turneth aside. This is the counsel that is counseled for all the earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out for all the nations. For Jehovah of hosts hath purposed, and who doth make void? And his hand that is stretched out, who doth turn it back? In the year of the death of King Ahaz was this burden. Rejoice not thou, Philistia, all of thee, that broken hath been the rod of thy smiter. For from the root of a serpent cometh out a viper, and its fruit is a flying seraph. And delighted hath the firstborn of the poor, and the needy in confidence lie down. And I have put to death with famine thy root, and thy remnant it slayeth. Howl, O gate! Cry, O city! Melted art thou, Philistia, all of thee. For from the north smoke hath come, and there is none alone in his set places. And what doth one answer the messengers of a nation? That Jehovah hath founded Zion, and in it do the poor of his people trust.